Could you come forward so I don't look like a giant compared to you? <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass. Hey guys, it's Wendy yeah, and <laughs> it's Wendy and Maurizio for your third Q and A video, and this is the last one. I swear, you guys had a lot of questions, so let's jump in right now and finish these bad boys up. Flipside two two eight three five asks, "Where did you grow up, and do you have only, any?" I <laughs> <can only squish. laughs> And do you have any siblings? I grew up military, so we moved every two years until my parents moved into this house when I was in elementary school. And then we stayed here in this very house forever. And I have one brother who is younger than I am who lives in this area as well. Freedom in a Budget asks, my favorite friend Kelly asks, Mauricio. What's the most romantic thing you have ever done for Wendy? She did that intentionally. I'm she... sure she did because she knows well enough to know we are not romantic people. What is the most romantic thing? I know what I'm thinking as the most romantic thing. What are you thinking? I have no idea. So many, so many that I cannot think of one. <laughs> Give you flowers? You've given me flowers several times. I don't know. Damn you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll answer this one for Mauricio. Mauricio, when we went to Colombia, oh the the ah the, oh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you tell the story? So the new the new the the, the wedding ring that that we that she designed for her. For I did design wedding. a wedding. She okay. wanted to design it. Okay, um, uh, kind of didn't fell apart. <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, so um, she was wearing this fake wedding ring that wasn't the one that, you know, we used for the wedding. So then we went to Colombia. I um, I was like, okay, I need to get her new. And I wanted one from Colombia, different. I, I, you know, I know the regular wedding ring with, you know, the diamond on it, but I wanted something different. So while well, in Colombia, I went and found this jewelry store there and talked to the guy. And that was quite challenging. We were in Colombia for two weeks. And then uh, I kind of designed my own. It's just not designed, just, you know, picked one of the models that he's got. But the one that I wanted different is that I put it a diamond. And then uh, I know, I mean, I know she likes emeralds a lot. And, you know, Colombia is known for his good emeralds. So I, I put the diamond and then the two emeralds on the side and, and just put it on a ring and then took it out for a dinner and then, and says, oh, I and she loved it. Yeah, that was, I was totally not expecting it at all. And it's lovely. I'll get back to you, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kelly, I wouldn't do a Q&A anytime soon because, you know, paybacks are hell. <laughs> or live streams because I'll be commenting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> watch the live streams too. Rochelle Thundercloud asks, how did you guys decide on Melina as a name? It's uh, lovely. This is a good story. Mauricio, I'll let you story. tell it. I'll let you tell it. That's probably one of my favorite stories. So um, in Colombia, we went, she was pregnant. How pregnant were you? Six months or something like, like that? Like six or seven months. Yeah, and you got food poisoning from Colombia. Oh, yeah, that was fun, lovely fun, fun. fun. But anyway, um, um, so we, we were going back and forth between the names. It's, you know, it's a big deal. I wanted a, a American name. She wanted a Hispanic name. So, uh, I mean, it was just crazy going back and forth. So anyway, so we went to Colombia, and, and we actually, we didn't have a name, but uh, my family was doing a baby, was throwing, you know, my family was throwing a baby shower for her. So they wanted a name, and they're like, we don't have a name. So we, we thought that we could, you know, play a prank on them, and we came up with this uh, name, like Grandma type of name for Melina. What's, what's it? Albert Albertina. Albertina in Colombia is, 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 is just like an old lady's name. We couldn't decide we on couldn't a, decide name. a name. Oh, every name I wanted, Mauricio hated. Every name he wanted, I hated. He wanted a gringo name. I wanted a Colombian name. It was a disaster. Anyway, so we with that. And so I, one of my um, uncles lended us uh, his car. So we could use his car. So one morning we got in the car and we just, and coincidentally we were just talking about the name. We had just been talking about the name. Discuss. We don't have fights at our home. They're discussions. <laughs> That's true. 
And then, mm-hmm. uh, um, so they're loud and painful, but <laughs> they're discussions. Discussions, discussions. So, um, and then we turn out the car, we hit the road, and then he had this CD in the car, and then you know it starts playing automatically, and then this song came out, you know, started playing. It's called Melina. Uh, it's for uh, Camilo Sexto. Camilo Sexto is the guy from Spain, and it's a very old song, like back in the seventies, right? Seventies. Very old song, Melina. If you want to hear it, I'll link to it, uh, a video the lyrics, of it. Yeah, the lyrics are very... It talks about strong woman, strong-willed woman who wants to go places. It is beautiful. Uh, so, and then I said, oh, I like the song. It's Melina. And, and Wendy's like, is that the name of the song? So yeah, Melina. And we looked at each other like, oh. Boom. That's a good name. That's a good name. Uh-uh. And then we call it Melina. Yep. That's... I, I love that story. Because... Uh, and then we didn't decided not to tell anyone because we didn't want anybody to have any p- opinions because we knew that was the name. So we didn't tell anybody until she was born. Although Mauricio's sister did guess pretty quickly that what we had picked. It was pretty funny, actually. Sensible Living with Money Mom. Hi, darling. Asks. Oh, she asked something for Melina. So we got to go get Melina. Bella! Oh, okay, I have some questions for you. Hi, YouTuber. <laughs> Give me a climb up. I have some questions for you. No, no come here, right here. They're easy questions. Stop. You, why don't you climb in front of us? Okay. So, sensible living with money, mom would like to know what are your favorite toys? American Girl dolls. Do you know she's the one that sent you the American Girl dolls? Thank you. Yeah. Um. What would you like to be when you grow up? Mm, artist designer. Yeah, I mean, that, I, you'd be really good at that because you design clothes. You do a good job. <laughs> Your daddy's so silly. <laughs> daddy, Number me. three. What do you like to do for fun? Mm, um, pretend that the... Um, when it rains super duper long and hard, put, um, think that the power will go out and I'm like, everybody survive! The power will go out! <laughs> you are How about so swimming? Good. How about swimming? Watching YouTube, kids. Why did you... No, it says just swimming. Swimming? And playing with friends. Yeah, playing with friends is a good one. You do that a lot. What is your favorite, uh, this one's for all three of us from Melanie Peacock. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? I know, chocolate. Shocking. <laughs> Mauricio, what's your favorite chocolate. ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate. Mine is haagen chocolate peanut butter. I like frozen yogurt. What is your favorite place to eat and why? My favorite place to eat? I know which one. Mine is McDonald's um, and Chick-fil-A. Mauricia, what's your favorite place to eat? And oh, what? I didn't explain Chick-fil-A. Why Chick-fil-A? Because they have a playground. Playground and ice cream. Yep. that Everybody knew that already. Mauricia, what's your favorite place to eat and why? I don't know. Um, I, uh, Texas the Brazil. <laughs> uh, of course. Why? Because you can eat meat until you are so full you think you're going to burst, right? Yeah. And they have good What's yours? What's yours? My favorite place to eat is Founding Farmers. Why? Because it's really good. Lynn S. asks, what location do you want to end up living? Oh, that's a good question. Where would you like to end? This is a source of constant discussion for us. Like, constant. Because I would like to have a house in Colombia, in Bogota. I'd like to have a house in Manizales, like out in the Eje Cafetero. I would like to have a house on the beach. I would like to have a house in Virginia. But yeah, I don't know where we'll end up. What do you think? I don't know. Like, a house up in the mountains. I would look in like some lake in a forest. I don't know. But I think the, uh, a house in Colombia, not Bogota. The next question is by multiple people. What are your hobbies and how do you budget for them? I have no hobbies. I mean, YouTube, I guess, is technically a hobby. Um, other than that, I don't really have any hobbies because I don't really have time for them because I work full time. 
I have mom obligations, cooking, all cleaning, all of that. And then I do YouTube. So uh, technically my only hobby would be YouTube. I used to scrapbook all the time. I love scrapbooking, but um, I, one, all my scrapbook stuff is in storage, so I haven't done it in years, and two, I don't have time to do it right now, so, what about you? Any hobbies? I don't know, it depends. Sometimes I find projects that I like to do, and, and just busy doing, like, building stuff. Like, around the house projects, fix or up or stuff. Yeah, you do enjoy doing that kind of stuff. I really enjoy doing that. Right now, it's just chilling whenever i have free time just chill because just too tired of doing all of the other stuff so much. yeah and probably his favorite hobby is another one that's all in storage is building the christmas town at christmas time that's one of the best things he loves he loves designing the whole town and laying out the design and it usually takes up the entire dining room and it's really cool if we ever have a house i'll be able to show that to you and the last question, this has been quite a Q&A, is what will we do when we're debt free? I might cry. Get a credit card. <laughs> we're not getting a credit card. Mauricio and I learned years ago that credit cards are not our friends. Even when I had one, when I was single, it was a disaster. Yeah, credit cards, both of us are very impulsive spenders, so a credit card is a disaster for us. Um... What do you, when we're debt free, I mean, I imagine we'll we start saving money. Yeah, we'll be saving for retirement. No, I, th I think what the, the first thing we're going to do when we're debt free is save money for a trip to Hawaii yeah, to celebrate I being think debt so. free. I, I think so. Didn't we, at one point, we were talking that we were going to do like the U.S. tour. We were going to go down to Tennessee to do our debt-free scream and then off to Hawaii yeah, and, I think and that's then gonna be to Texas to visit some friends and California to visit some other friends. <laughs> we may yeah. just be like take a month off from work and, and just travel the world for, yeah. I imagine we will pretty quickly deal. save up for like a... Uh, a fund for traveling where we have like a set amount invested and then we travel off what we earn off of that. I expect that we will do that pretty quickly because we both love to travel. And so that that's going to be a big thing is traveling. I can't wait to travel, like plan for a trip a and save up for it and pay cash for it and not... That, that's one of the things that I remember about traveling before Dave, like before Dave traveling, was that we would come back from a trip and I was like, oh, we spent so much money, but being able to establish a really loose budget so that we'll have tons of money to spend on the trip and we won't have to stress about every single penny. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, we're going to do that, but responsibly that we're looking, uh, yeah, that's that to celebrate to celebrate getting debt free, that's what we said. We're just gonna, you know, and then just keep mon putting money aside for all the other things. We're gonna, we're gonna save for for a nice trip because it will be well deserved. <laughs> yeah, this is a long process but, but for we'll us. Be, you know, we'll cash flow that. We definitely, definitely, definitely will save budget for it, and and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's annoying. That's a good one, Billy. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye -bye. See ya. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Yep, that's it. See you in the next one. Oh, see ya. Dude.